Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's really lovely to be with you this morning. My goodness, we have got an awful lot going on today. Um, it's Pentecost. It is the birthday of the church and one of the most significant festivals in the church. And it just so happens that, obviously, as we all know, it is also the Platinum Jubilee weekend. So we hope what we have today is an act of worship that reflects both things for us all to celebrate. We welcome everybody who is here, old and young, and you can put yourself into whichever category you wish today. Um, and we also welcome everybody who is tuning in from home. So good morning, everyone at home. Let's give them all a wave. Those of you still tucked up in bed and with your toast and uh, marmalade or whatever else, it's really lovely that we are able to come together today in our act of worship. We also have the music group, which looks incredibly enhanced this morning. A lovely big group of musicians have come this morning, but we also do have the choir and organ today. So it's all change um, for today. And I think that's excellent because that does reflect our uh, celebratory worship this morning. Hopefully you do all now have a copy of our service sheet. Um, we're going to now begin with our greetings. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We gather to worship God and in thanksgiving for the 70 years of faithful service of our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth. We give thanks for her example of faithfulness to God and to her people, and pray that God will so bless her that she may continue to fulfill with generosity and joy the promises she has made. Would you now please stand for our first hymn.
gracious God, we give you thanks for the reign of your servant Elizabeth, our Queen, and for the example of loving and faithful service which she has shown among us. Help us to follow her example of dedication and to commit our lives to you and to one another. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Alice is going to give our first reading, so please will you sit. A reading from Proverbs. Does not wisdom call, and does not understanding raise her voice? The Lord created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of long ago. Ages ago, I was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth. When he had not yet made earth and fields or the world's first bits of soil. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made the firm skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him, like a master worker, and I was his daily delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in the, his inhabited world, and delighting in the human race. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 We're now going to stand and sing our next hymn, Be Thou My Vision.
Readings from the Acts of the Apostles and the letter of Paul to the Galatians. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rushing of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in, t in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We're exercising our vocal cords very well today. We're now going to stand and we're going to sing our next hymn, Come Down, O Love Divine. Please would you sit. This morning I listened to our second reading and I want you to know that I've taken on board some of the fruits of the Spirit, a particular love, generosity, gentleness, and above all, self-control, which will explain why, now I come to the reading of Bands of Marriage, 
I am not going to ask the couples to come up. Uh, normally we do, we put them through an excruciating couple of minutes of absolute agony and embarrassment, but today, because it's the fruits of the Spirit, I'm exercising self-restraint. However, there is a reason for this, which I won't go into now, because it will embarrass the person concerned. Um, it gives me the greatest pleasure to publish the bands of marriage between Mark Robert Davis and Alice Hannah Pusey, both of the parish of St Philip Cambridge, but to be married here by virtue of their qualifying connection with this church, and between Wesley Thomas Beddoes of the parish of St John the Baptist Wittisham and Jody Bernadette Dane of this parish, and to be married here, and between Richard William Powell and Julie Joan Ruiz, both of this parish. Now, these are all for the first time of asking if anyone knows any reason in law why these couples may not be married, then you must declare it now. You're all exercising self-control this morning. Either that or there are no reasons why they can't be married. Thank you very much. We're going to say a prayer for them now and then I will dazzle you with my words of wisdom this morning. God of love, we pray for Mark and Alice, for Wesley and Jody, for Richard and Julie. Be with them in all their preparations and on their wedding day and give them your love in their hearts throughout their married life together. Amen. Now next week could be a different story because it won't be the fruits of the Spirit so I may have free reign. Okay. So uh, don't count your chickens, folks. Right. Now, 70 years ago, Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh went on a major tour, Prince Philip, of course. During their travels, they enjoyed a few days of peace and quiet, staying at treetops in the Aberdeer National Park, some 60 miles north of Nairobi. King George VI had waved them off from the airport and seemed well, but he died in his sleep, and he was just 56 years old. Queen Elizabeth II returned to the United Kingdom, grieving the death of her beloved father. And from him, she inherited a strong sense of duty which would define her reign as queen. And perhaps we remember the words of the 21-year-old princess speaking from South Africa. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. And as we look back from the vantage point of this Platinum Jubilee, we see that this commitment of service has been magnificently fulfilled. Now at the heart of the Christian faith is a commitment to service. Jesus said, I am among you as one who serves, and we see Jesus serving time and time again. Today we celebrate the great feast of Pentecost and the gift of the Spirit. Now, Service doesn't appear in the list of the fruits of the Spirit as listed by Paul, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, to which I would add not just service, but also wisdom, the wisdom of God which we heard about in our first reading this morning. Christians are those who adopt these qualities and channel them all into the service of other people, creating relationships of loving charity and mutual care 
that help people realise their full human potential as children of God. Back in 2012, the Queen visited Archbishop Rowan Williams at Lambeth Palace and met the representatives of nine living faith communities. And the Queen reminded her hearers that religious groups have a proud track record of helping those in the greatest need, including the sick, the elderly, the lonely, and the disadvantaged. They remind us of the responsibilities we have beyond ourselves. The influence of Christianity in this country, as in many other countries, has been deeply pervasive and influential. And much of the fabric of human society has been built on Christian principles. Down the centuries, Christianity has not lost its influence. Attitudes have changed and diversified, but the religious instinct and the religious principles remain clear and influential. And above all, the will to serve remains a powerful force, and this has been modelled supremely by Elizabeth, our Queen. Thanks to the power of the Holy Spirit, whose gift and coming we celebrate today, the same will to serve is also modelled by a good many local people. People of faith and people too who would say that they have no faith. For the Holy Spirit is quite able to influence those who would not claim to be Christian. And all of these people give them of themselves instinctively to make a difference to the life of individuals and our communities. And so today, as we celebrate this 70th anniversary, we give thanks for the Holy Spirit-inspired service of our Queen and her faithful Christian witness amongst us. And whether we be Queen or citizen, there is no higher calling than the call to serve. Amen. We're going to spring a little surprise upon you all because normally we leave the offering of our money until the very end of the service, but today we're going to bring it forward just to keep you on your toes. And we offer our money during the singing of our next hymn, Lord for the Years.
would you please sit for our time of prayer. As we come to our prayers, we pray for God to fill us with his spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be strengthened to serve you better. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to make us wise to understand your will. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love wherever you call us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the healing of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness where there is division, sickness and sorrow. We remember especially today, Dennis Mitchell, Gabby Cook, Michael Gregg, Frank McWilliams and Jim Walls who we know to need our prayers at this time. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to equip us for the work which you have given us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal in our lives the love of Jesus. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit, given us by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the whole church living and departed in the joy of eternal life. In our prayers today, we remember Dorothy Harvey, Annie Tapley, Pauline Sykes, Les Ramsden, and Christine Smith, who have died recently. And on the anniversary of their death, we pray for Paul Stace and Ethel Lees. We ask the Holy Spirit to be with those who mourn. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the work of your Holy Spirit in the reign of Elizabeth, our Queen. We ask you to instill in us the qualities she has lived by, integrity and justice, faith, courage, duty, self-discipline and fairness. Lord, come to bless us. We thank you, generous God, for you sent your Holy Spirit upon your Messiah at the River Jordan and upon the disciples in the upper room. In your mercy, fill us with your Spirit. Hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. And now we join together with Christians down many centuries and around the world today, joined by the One Spirit, praying the Lord's Prayer. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As we give thanks for Her Majesty's service to us all, let us dedicate our own lives once again to the love and service of God and neighbour. Lord of our lives and Father of all, grant that our thanksgiving may prove itself in service to you and to our Queen, our country and one another. For your name's sake. Amen. Would you please be seated for our announcements? First of all, I'd like to thank everybody who has helped to make our celebrations of the Platinum Jubilee so very special and memorable here. Um, we had a lovely cream tea on Thursday morning and the team was splendid. And um, we've had special flowers put in for the Jubilee and obviously as well yesterday we had a wedding, so thank you to all those involved with that. Um, we have a, a model over there. That's the coronation, isn't it? Yes, so do take a look on the memorial as you leave this morning at the um, model of the coronation there, uh, which Sharon has uh, brought in for us. Remind me the history. That was... Perfect, and it looks very good over there. So thank you very much indeed for that. So again, many thanks to everybody. Um, thank you very much to our band. It's lovely to welcome back Adam and his family today as well. It's wonderful that you've been able to join us, and Claire as well. It's good uh, to have got a mini orchestra today, so thank you. Choir, wonderful as well to have you on our first Sunday. And so um, do please come and join us for a, a drink after the service now. Um, but you're really going to have to earn it today. We're now going to stand and we're going to sing our final hymn, Now Thank We All Our God. <laughs>
standing for the blessing and also for the singing of the national anthem. God grants to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all humankind, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and all those whom you love, today and always. Amen. Amen.